grew up in Kharagpur because my father was a professor in IIT Kharagpur. So I was exposed to classical music somewhat, but while I was growing up, I was not at all interested in any of these things. And at IIT Kharagpur, when I came back to study there, I was, as I said, mentioned, singing Western music. But we used to have one faculty member by the name of D. Shen, who used to organize a whole night of Indian classical music called the Green Amateurs Night. For those of you in IIT Kharagpur, you will remember that it used to be some of the greatest masters would come and perform for the whole night. And uh, I still remember we used to go and sit at the back and it was more like a social gathering to know who had come and who had not come. When I went abroad to do my PhD, I was at Columbia University in New York. I remember seeing a small advertisement that said, Rustad Nasir Aminuddin Dagar and Ustad Fariduddin Dagar were going to give a Drupad recital at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. So we actually went to see the program, but uh, it turned out to be one of the most inspiring things that happened to me. I know I walked into the hall and I walked out walk, figuratively walking one inch above the ground and I was not, I didn't know why. But I said if it can happen to me, it can happen to others. So there and then, any artist used to go through New York City. We used to catch hold of them and ask them to perform for the students at Columbia University. So like that, Ali, the great Ali Akbar Khan Sahib and many others performed for the students. And when I finished my PhD, I joined Bell Labs. And then too, I was associated with this movement in, in the New York area. Then in 1976, uh, I came back to teach at IIT where Delhi where I am teaching and there I remember asking a group of students, final year students, if anybody had heard the name of, just the name of, one of the greatest sitar players who was alive at that time, his name was Pandit Nikhil Banerjee. So there was not one student in the class who had heard his name. So I said, is it fair? Like you have cassettes of the Beatles, John Baez, you have so many Stevie Wonder, etc., 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 Michael Jackson, but you have not even heard the name of, you have not heard the names of some of the greatest people in our own country. So should we do something about it? Said, okay. So we all got together, and we did the first class project. It was called Me Forg, Mechanical Engineering Final Year Operation Research Group presents. We distributed out the work. And uh, some people look after artists, some people look after the finances. The, and we booked the Convocation Hall, Hall of IIT, which has got approximately capacity, I think, of about 1500. After that, many other colleges in Delhi who had heard about it by word of mouth, they said, why don't we do it in our college? So we extended to other colleges in Delhi. Then some of my students went to some of the IMs, like I am. Uh, ba Bangalore, I am Kolkata, I am Ahmedabad. They said, why not we start it there? So we started it there. Then some people from schools said, why don't we start in schools? So we start in schools. So it has been a very organic growth, meaning this, it has been a movement. It's not an organization. Spikmik is not an organization. It's a movement in which young people have, and senior people also, who have been affected, have taken it forward and taken it, as I said, organically forward. And now it's operating in about 300 cities in India, or 50 cities abroad. We're doing over 2,000 events a year. And uh, touch wood, it's growing very nicely. And hopefully, we've also got chapters, as I said, abroad. It, that was started in 1988. And not only classical music, we're trying to Right from, right from the beginning, the idea was not so much to bring in only classical music, but to bring the young person in touch with different aspects of our heritage, which could make them finer engineers, finer doctors, finer whatever they are doing. 
So it was never the aim was never to make classical musicians out of engineers, but to make them finer and better human beings and better engineers. So that in that context, I am noticing now that many young people are joining this movement all over the country. Speak Meke, the Society for the Promotion of Indian Classical Music and Culture amongst youth, was set up with the aim of bringing into the lives of young people things that they are missing out in the education system. And what are they missing out? A certain degree of inspiration, a certain degree of subtlety, a certain degree of abstraction and most importantly a respect for the mystical. These four elements are very beautifully encompassed in our heritage. So we have been using our heritage through its various uh, arms like Indian classical music, like in folk forms, like crafts, our traditional crafts, like our film classics, like our monuments, walks to monuments, talks by eminent writers, philosophers, yoga and meditation camps, all these things we are using to bring into these lives these four elements which are missing. That is the basic aim of Spik Mike. Okay. As I said, it is an educational venture and it is an educational movement. And uh, regarding how the artists have come into this, they are quite busy. They would not come for the peanuts that we give them unless they truly feel that there is something meaningful coming out of it. And hence, the re reaction of the artists, I feel, the fact that they have continued with us is itself an indicator of the fact that some effect, some positive effect is taking place. The students are being affected at different levels. And what happens is when we have many concentric levels of being affected, the diffusion process takes place from the outer circles to the inner core. And the inner core though may be small, but there are many concentric circles of different levels of awareness that are there amongst the students. What we are trying to do is make more circles around and also initiate the diffusion process from the outer circles to the inner core. And I think to some extent we have succeeded, to some extent. The development of a human being, of a young person has to take place in two domains. One is in the external domain and one is in the internal domain. Unless there is a balance between these two, the young person will not be a complete human being. Now, in the external domain, the great contribution has come from the West. You see it in science, in technology, in uh, sports, medicine, business administration, you name it. All the things that are outward in character have been developed to very high heights in the Western world. So, what have our ancestors been doing for the last couple of you know, thousand years? They have also been doing very good experimentation, but they have been doing it in the inner domain. And in the inner domain, it is very, very important that that particular thing, which today the young person is being totally cut off from, is brought at least in front of him or her. The future plan of Spik Mackay is to expand, obviously, geographically and content-wise. So, not just in India, but all over the world, that is one thing. And another thing is to take the young person now one step at a time deeper. Abhi tak hamara jo success raha hai, I think it is only very, very superficial in the sense that we have been able to maybe pass this message to young person that maybe there is something important or something to be gained from knowing something about our heritage. But what is that something Abhi tak we have not reached in my opinion. So, what we have to do now is by doing more intensives, bring the young person as I said step by step closer to what this actually this heritage is all about. You must just give friendly suggestion to the young person 
if we want to get something of value from this heritage, we must develop a little bit more of patience and a little bit more of faith. If these two elements come into their lives, they will get, they will be a one-two combination. Best of the West, best of the outward domain and best of the inward domain.